We were sitting around a campfire and I felt something brush by me. I didn't get a good look at it, but I'm pretty sure it was a bat. Someone told me I have to get 20 painful shots. Is that true? For rabies exposure, we don't do that anymore. The CDC has guidelines how to prevent rabies. In fact, for patients, it's much easier now. Rabies treatment takes two forms. For someone who is previously unvaccinated, combining wound cleansing, human rabies immune globulin, and rabies vaccine series is recommended for both bite and non-bite exposures. If you have previously received the complete rabies vaccination series, any wounds will need to be cleansed and you will only need a rabies vaccine booster. During this short video, we'll look at the common prophylactic or preventive treatment if you have been exposed to rabies. I knew that I should get treatment. Well, I'm glad you're here because it does sound like it could be an exposure. Well, the standard protocol is to wash out any wounds or scratches that you might have. And then, if you've never been immunized against rabies, we would give you rabies immunoglobulin into and around those wounds. Finally, I would give you rabies vaccine to make sure you're protected against rabies. Human rabies immune globulin, or HRIG, is indicated for post-exposure prophylaxis, PEP, for all persons suspected of exposure to rabies who were not previously vaccinated. It is administered along with the rabies vaccine. An HRIG contains rabies antibodies isolated from the plasma of human donors. It provides passive immunity and immediate protection. The rabies vaccine series helps the body produce active immunity, which provides long-term protection. First, the wound should be cleaned. Then, as much of the full dose of HRIG as possible should be administered directly into or around the wound site, as much as anatomically feasible. This is where the highest viral load occurs. Any remaining volume, or if there is no wound, as may be the case with a bat exposure, should be injected intramuscularly at a site distant from vaccine administration. After exposure to rabies, you will receive four injections of rabies vaccines, including the initial dose on the day of treatment of exposure, for persons who have not been previously vaccinated. In cases where a person has a weak or compromised immune system, there may be a fifth shot on day 28. For previously vaccinated, you would receive boosters on day zero and three. Rabies immune globulin binds up the virus in the wound. You wanna make sure that the patient keeps fighting. And so you give them rabies vaccine. It allows the body to generate its own rabies immune globulin its own immune response and will keep that patient protected. Left untreated, rabies has the highest fatality rate of any infectious disease, making rapid response essential. Rabies is essentially 100% fatal if not treated promptly and correctly. Learn more at rabieswatch.com.